This story is brought to us from APNews.com. Out of Lansing, Michigan. Now, I'm going to put a link to this story in the description box below. And under that link, I'm going to put my original editorial <clears throat> that I did in the shooting of the black motorist Patrick Leoya. Well, a Michigan appeals court heard arguments on whether a former police officer should go to trial for murder charge in the killing of Patrick Leoya. The murder charge stems from a morning traffic stop last year, I put my editorial below, that ended with Christopher Schur. Officer Schur was sure he was going to do something bad that day. I don't know, obviously. But he was a Grand Rapids police officer at the time, shooting Patrick Loyal in the back of the head while on top of him. That's the one in Grand Rapids where he was on top of the guy and he just pulled his gun out and executed him. The fatal shooting was preceded by a short chase and struggle according to a video of the incident. Uh, I don't remember if I got the video. I did get the video clip, I think, because I think it got age restricted. But the link to my story is below. <clears throat> Schur's lawyers on Wednesday asked the court to throw out the murder charge, saying that the law allows the use of deadly force to stop a felon from fleeing when the officer reasonably believed a felony had occurred. Sure. Prosecutors argued for a jury to decide on the charges, Kate Went, an assistant prosecutor, said that Loyola 26 wasn't fleeing and that Schur was in control of the situation when shots were fired. He was a fleeing felon. Yeah, but he wasn't fleeing. He was on the ground and the cop was on top of him. Wasn't fleeing at that point in time. Now, Went, the prosecutor, said this wasn't a high-speed chase situation. Loyola was on the ground and Officer Schur could have grabbed any of those alternative techniques. That's what I said. He was on the ground. His family was in attendance at the hearing in Grand Rapids. Schur, who was fired June of 2022 after being charged with murder, is scheduled to stand trial in October of this year, but the date could be pushed back for pending appeals. And they're going to do that. They always play that little game of we need a continuance. There is no time frame from the Court of Appeals to render a decision after the arguments were heard, and Schur's lawyers still have the option of asking the Michigan Supreme Court to take up the appeal. A judge in Grand Rapids last year found probable cause to send the second-degree murder case to the Kent County Trial Court. A jury could conclude that Schur did not reasonably believe that his life was immediately at risk, says Judge Nicholas Ayub. Uh, he's the one who ordered the trial. Now, the evidence last year uh, in that trial included video of the final moments when Schur fired his gun while on top of Leoya. And he's repeatedly telling Leoya, take your hands off the officer's taser. Uh, he's saying, take your hands off my taser, repeatedly. Schur's attorneys have argued that he was defending himself by shooting the guy in the back of the head. A forensic video analyst, Robert McFarland, said Loyola failed to comply with 20 commands. So shoot him in the back of the head. Die. Right? Comply or die. Grand Rapids, which has a population of about 200,000 people, is in western Michigan, of course. Wolverine, are you going to cover this one or not? I'm just kidding. But for real, um, this cop should spend the rest of his life in prison. I'm sorry, but it's true. He was on top of the guy, shot him in the back of the head. And again, my original editorial is down below if you want to go back and refresh yourself on that story. But this cop, he's looking at a jury trial. 